All right, we're gonna jump into a traditional War of the Dra War of the Spark draft here. I'm gonna go into Battlefield View and mention my sponsor, Card Kingdom. Card Kingdom are purveyors of all things magic. Whether you need uh, sealed products, singles, supplies, or whether you need to sell stuff you've got, they can help you on all of those fronts. If you're ever in the local area in the Pacific Northwest, please check out their brick and mortar stores. They're like the best game stores on the planet. And yeah, if you uh, click on the banner down below, you can get to their site via my affiliate link, and that's a great way to show some support for me and for my awesome sponsor, Card Kingdom. Check them out. Thanks, Card Kingdom. Well, uh, we took Tamio in our Omniscience draft, and we're going to take it here as well. Tamio's great. Get gems and a powerful magical card. Weird is good, but gems plus Tamio is better. Dueling you will be excellent research. Arlen and Death Sprout are both interesting follows. There's another weird. But I think we want Death Sprout or Arlen here. What do you think? Arlen goes in blue. Uh, you, you, if we just do uh, green blue, Arlen is fine. But I imagine we end up splashing the blue part here. When I take Tamio, my anticipation is that we're green something and then splash the blue. J Watt wants the Death Sprout for additional flexibility. Yeah, I'm gonna take Arlen. Do you feel that? You have become prey. Hmm, I'm feeling it now. Triumph. Keep going here on uh, blue-green stuff. Here, I like maybe Scorn. Nothing really else great here. Yeah, let's take the Scorn and, and see about splashing. Conjurant, easy pick here. Tithe Bearer, nice, but Conjurant, super easy. All right, I guess we're plating. Heck, maybe we're uh, green, blue, splash, other stuff. Well, here's an interesting pick to, answer, to ask this question. Are we, you want to take the Toll, which is, I think, a little better than Weird. But weird is in our, we're heavy blue so far, so weird is in color, on color. If we took toll, uh, plating is like kind of whatever. We could, if we ended up splashing these three, that would be like, Don't vote for memes, vote for win percentage. Uh, okay. I'm gonna take the weird. We're just heavier blue. I just wanna lean into the blue that we're seeing here. Um, I'm on a croc. I don't know about croc. It's it's playable. Uh, there's skulker. Bond is whatever. Do we get it's permanent? So we do get to look for like Tamio and Arlen with Bond. Crunchy Crunch, though. I like Crunch better than than Bond. I'll take it. Take a two that can attack. Uh, I don't love it. We'll take a time twist. Train didn't like the crunch. Too bad. Uh, Jay is not going to be on today. He'll be on next week since I'm doing more set review stuff because of you, Dionysus. Jay is not going to be on the show because of you, Dionysus.
I don't think we're ever playing the wall. Sometimes we've been uh, forced into playing an Eternal. I actually like the Eternal significantly better than the wall. But hopefully you don't play either. I'll grab this here, though. Yeah, after uh, we draft this or see how far we get, I might cut it short depending, you know, if we win win a bunch. I, I want to get into the rest of the... We did white and blue yesterday. We'll talk about the rest of the stuff today. We'll take grizzly here, but not... That's about when you want a grizzly. That's been about when you want a grazer. Um, Unlikely to be casting nickel, but we'll take him as a mythic for uh, gems. Hadge asks, uh, is God Pharaoh's statue any good in Omniscience draft? We played it, but there was so much topple the statue going on that it never it never lasted long when we played it. Yeah, well, we could take a Wanderer Strike for Splat. Oh. I did not mean to... I was not trying to click that. Sorry, J Sorry. <laughs> I guess we're going to splash Wanderer Strike. Darn it. I wanted those 40 gems. I'm sad. But we'll take uh, an Eternal here. I love it. Like we're horrified that we actually took the card that's good for our pat, good for our uh, deck instead of the gems. Oh, it's so sad. It's all right. We'll we'll win those gems back. And here we'll take an Avian Eternal. That's very solid. Hey, right on color as well. I want this New Horizons, but slamming the Skydiver. There's a New Horizons we can pick up. Um, especially a draft punt in which I actually took the best card for our deck. Or maybe there was something else. I, I Honestly, I was so focused on taking the 40 gems, the Wanderer Strike is like the only playable I even noticed. What are we taking here, though? Uh, this, isn't, uh, this isn't Omniscience. This is straight up War of the Spark draft. So uh, more twos. We have a couple of green twos in Wrangler or sp Spinner. We're doing okay on twos, although this isn't really a two. This is not really a two. That's not really a two. I guess we only have a couple of twos. Oh, I, I, I was intending to take 40 gems and instead took a playable for the deck. Yeah, I think we take Horizons here at this point. I want to play the strike and open up Splash Potentials. Band together, great late band together. Saw the totally lost, but band together is better. Stinger, Grizzly, or Pegasus. We're already maybe splashing that Wanderer's Strike. Uh, we could take Pegasus as just a uh, decent card. I don't want a second Grizzly. We could take Stinger for the sideboard. I really think it's between uh, Pegasus and Stinger here. Stinger is probably good enough. It's got works with Band together. All right, we'll take Stinger. Don't think we can Augur here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven's all right. I guess we take the auger because there's nothing else, but I don't know if we play it or if we play it. I don't, you know, our expectations for getting cards off. This is pretty low. We've got Arlen, so we'll take a wolf here. Wolf's good anyway. Veto for the sideboard is like, okay, whatever. I don't, I, 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 eh. Yeah, Fallen Bright, pretty easy here. Second Grizzly, first Croc. I'm going to go first Croc. Second Grizzly, first Worm. Kind of still want first Worm. I really don't want two Grizzlies basically ever. Hey, Snare Spinner made it back. We're in the right color in green, apparently. Wow, yeah. Okay. I found this on the web for Hey Cirrus near me back where in the right color green apparently. Check it out. 
Thanks, Siri. Clean living. I'm not going to misclick this mythic, okay? We're going to be very careful. Here's the pointer. See, I'm clicking over here. And then we roll over here. We very carefully click. Hey, we did it. We drafted the bonkers mythic. And here, prison realm for the splash or paradise druid for the fixing and the acceleration. I think we go fixing acceleration. Then we can take uh, another wanderer strike or whatever. Woo! It's all coming up for us here. This is interesting. We just take gems. We're doing very well in this draft. Like, we, we are already making cuts. So uh, maybe 20 gems is more important than any of these cards to this deck. We do have a, a couple of Planeswalkers, though, where Contentious Plan is uh, is reasonably reasonable. Can we play Parhelion? We are green. We only have one New Horizons, though. I'm going to take the gems, and if we end up with a couple, another New Horizons, we could even consider playing it, but let's take gems here. I don't think anything we're passing is uh, going to be worth more to our gem total than that pick. And here's another New Horizons. Want to take it? Are we doing this? Another wolf, okay. Uh, we get one more pick with new cards. Cl Globe can help with what we're up to, but we get the Wanderer here. Wanderer on the splash seems okay. Yeah, I think I like Wanderer over the Globe. Regrettable that you cross Even if we path. bring this out of the board, we'd be super happy. Uh, here's, a, here's another strike we could run. All sorts of value in this deck. What are we going to do with it all? We're not going to crush Descent or take Steady Aim. So maybe I will take a War Screecher and not play it. No, no Vault Progress here or anything. Totally Lost Late is a possible addition. We got some serious cuts to make now. Got, got these already. I don't think we're playing any of this. I'll take another six, though. Need another splasher. I'm not sure what you mean by that train. Like, we've got two New Horizons and a uh, Paradise Druid. That's pretty good. I don't think we're playing Silver Wing, so I'll, I'll take Vault Prog. Ah, whatever, I'll take it just in case. We might want to bring it in. All right, I have to take a bio break, and oh, apparently I, oh, we didn't have any. Well, we could have mythic myth, mythic that up, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go take a bio break while you figure out how we cut nine cards from this. Okay, I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. Uh, I was saying, um, Valhalla's Chosen was saying, got to have some beef. And I was saying, do we need to? Like, what is the beef for? Like, if we play, if we play Worm, are we thinking we win with this Worm, that we're going to attack and win with the Worm, or is it just contributing to our ground defense? Because it feels like, like, we got Skylord, Kefnet, Aven Eternal, uh, and Arlen, and it feels like that's where we're getting kind of our win condition. -y. Arlen helps us go wide and big. A couple of wolves for Arlen. Uh, what black is even in here? Just this scorn? I mean, it's kind of free. Like, we get two new horizons and a, and a paradise druid, so we don't even need to play swamp. It's just removal. Crunchy Crunch gets big here. And if we keep everything else out, though, yeah, uh, we, we cut the three cards that make Crunch anything decent. I kind of want to... I guess we can Courage. We have enough. We have a couple Planeswalkers. We we'll have the Wanderer. It's pretty good. But yeah, I can see cutting crunch. We have a lot of twos going on anyway. Um, I think we have to cut twist. It's fine, especially with planeswalkers that you prote protect, but I don't like the twist. Yeah, we could we could run the park alien. That could be our that's our beef. Take the twist over the plating. I kind of like cutting them both. <laughs> and then uh, Stinger coming out of the board is better. I mean, how many hits do we have with Kef? I don't know, but they have five hits. <laughs> I kind of want to try the Parhelion. Yeah, we could go to one. Well, although we're, we're dropping, uh, but this is a possible two. No, you get in there. I was trying to put you here. Courage could go. Well, Scorn does the opposite thing, right? Scorn is kind of killing the small stuff, and uh, I guess with two Wanderer Strikes, though, we can let go of this. Let go of the Scorn. I'll let go of the Scorn. How about this? Yeah, we'll just we'll just the lands. Don't worry about the lands. Do we like this as a deck? can't remove horizons if we're going to play parhelion and it is the heart of how we're splashing our white we have a you know we have four white cards we're trying to trying to do all right let's maybe cut this down to like one we'll keep one planes in uh, maybe we want to uh Two islands or eight eight for the Kefnet. Do you like nine seven one eight eight one nine eight? Just skip the planes. Jay Watt likes eight eight one. Key Watts likes the set nine seven one I got going on here. Hmm. 
be pretty brutal to not have a forest though like everything we're doing early is forest involved and uh Parhelion is not that risky. We just need one of our uh, New Horizons. I, I, we have the back door of uh, Paradise plus Plains, but I think we're mainly getting there on New Horizons. One. I don't see the other message in chat. What are you saying, uh, Vaporkin? I don't understand your question there. Yeah, I think I like 971. All right. Is the totally lost better than the scorn? Well, it's single color for one thing. Uh, and it puts it on top of library, which denies them a draw. Scorn only bounces it. <clears throat> Let's try this. I don't want to waste too much time. I like it. Yeah, we'll update the banner and everything here. Oh, weird, Vaporkin. Well, you're not here alone. Try a refresh, maybe? Uh, everybody else is chatting away. Oh, yeah, thanks. When were I? Uh, it's just, I'm just I'm not in this uh, deck building mode much. We are not WotC sponsored right now. We are Card Kingdom sponsored, though. Thanks, Card Kingdom. Yeah, I shouldn't have left Omniscience showing while I was drafting it. Probably confused, confused things. All right, I like this deck a lot. I'm going to go with par... I'm going to be bold and call this par three. I'm gonna be, I, I like this deck. I'm going to be disappointed if we don't come up with our break-even three wins. But three... Put setting par at three. This is magic. I mean, we could have the most amazing deck we've ever seen, and you still shouldn't, like, expect to win five times. Like, magic is magic. You're just going to get boned sometimes. You're going to run into better decks, or you're going to run into decks that drew better. You know, it just happens. So I think, like, three is a very uh, optimistic and confident par line. So we're going to go with three. Here we go. Well, this is a little early for the Parhelion, but with Paradise Druid and two forests, we're going to keep and hope the druid lives. I mean, obviously, it, there's only like only the Liliana's card can stop it from making you to turn, getting to turn three at least. All right, perfect. Was hoping to get some more land, and we did. Nice digits. Yeah, it seems like uh, Omni Draft. If you enjoy it well enough is a very nice way to uh, convert some gold to gems because not a lot of people are just not seeing how to go about the format. Uh, we could drop Wander, but then Prophet just gets to attack right into it. Um, maybe that's worth it. We drop Wander, they attack into it maybe for two. But we can also just wait and then next turn cast Skylord and have it better defended. We'll do that. There's no targets for it yet. It also like prevents them from uh, playing their creatures that would die to it. I just don't like uh, this passing with four mana and like literally doing nothing with it. But 
magic is magic. Yeah, if you can load up on Tithe Bearer Giants, then I love Vivian's Grizzly. We 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 uh, in om, on omniscience, but you need a, like we ended up not taking it much because we only had six or seven creatures or something. But if you're if you're super low on creatures, it just doesn't do enough. So there's the Raging Crunch, and now we can at least take out the Crunch if we want to do the Wanderer now. Um, and then they, again, would get to attack it down, but it's removed. This is worth it. Let's do this. Totally lost the profit, set them way behind. That's true. That's an interesting play. They can't attack with the crunch. Uh, but then what are we, are we just trying to get to Parhelion faster? Um, I'm going to play Skylord. I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to I'm going to Skylord and get our own get our own board presence established and then we can go into the better stuff we have. They can attack us this turn, no big deal. We'll take it. Ooh, that's quite an attack. We're going to throw uh This is fine though. We'll trade uh Well, let's see. Do we want to trade for the assault team? We can also just take it all. No, we'll take trade for one of these. We'll trade for the assault team, and I hope that they put it on the crunch. They'll probably put it on the profit, though. That's what I would do. D diversify your threats. Looks like we get to take out the profit eventually, anyway. Uh, but for here, we're gonna do it wanderer style on the crunch. And I'm going to stay back on D. Uh, it's a little bit risky. I don't know if I'm actually uh, going to block with the Skylord, given how profit with an instant could make that bad. But we'll see what they do here. Yeah, they didn't bother. They could. They maybe could have bluffed if they wanted to uh, represent something like uh, Defiant Strike. Um, where are we at here? One, uh, four, five, six, seven. We're close to Parhelion. Um, kind of like uh, keeping totally lost up here and just passing. Lose the profit now. Slow him down. Ooh. Kind of like sending in the Sky Lord. They may uh, try and double block. Uh, but that's if. Uh, yeah, if they single block, then we'll strike the populace. If they double block, we'll band together and blow them out. Yeah, and they could no block as well, but then we have band together. Um, let's see, one, uh, four, five, six, seven. We don't have both of these. Uh, that's all right. So uh, I've they didn't block, so now they can potentially get the wanderer down to uh, to one. But we'll band together if they do this. Another burning profit. Oh, it's not another. It's the one we put on top, of course. All right, by only sending the one, I'm going to go ahead and band together and save the Wanderer.
If we don't, if we draw a land, we'll go Parhelion. If we don't, all right, yeah, we've got uh, Parhelion. Let's make him have something for it. This is crew four. Ah, interesting. Yeah, we could do that. I like that. Chat is calling out that, remember, we can use proliferate to increase our opponent's stuff too, if it makes sense to do so. In this case, we could have gone Wanderer Strike on the Prophet, proliferate uh, the Populace, and then Wander. Sorry, we could have Wanderer Strike the Prophet, make this a 4 4, and then Wander the Populace. But I just went straight to Parhelion. Well, we have that play available to us when we untap uh, if they don't go for Wanderer here. But if they, you know, if they want to go for Wanderer, we're just going to end up making angel tokens and that's going to be fine. This is kind of what I expected. We just give up the wander here and it's not that big a deal. Good point, Scooter. Uh, we could block the profit and just try and eat the profit, but I don't care. We're just we're going to let them have uh have the wander and see about winning with two angels. Ah, uh, yeah, Strike is Exile. Good point. All of us need to read magic cards more, I guess. MTG is hard indeed. There's that controversial, infamous old Barbie doll that would... I don't know if it was Barbie. It was some some sort of doll that had lines it would say, and the the woman would say, the, this doll would say, "Math is hard." And I, I kind of want to get that, except just say, "Magic the Gathering is hard." Oh, uh, I have Deckmaster off, so all right. Well, let's let's start with card draw. Oops. Deck Master is on. Seems Dece. Attack for 13. All right, we got uh, a Boros deck across the way. We might want to tighten it down um, to the low end a little more. To that end, what do we have? We could throw in a Crunch Wrangler just to have a, a two power two drop to engage in combat. Stinger to trade with something on the ground might be good. Although over what? You know, we already cut our, our top end pretty hard. Uh, not a dumb question, Scooter. That's one of the real design issues I have with vehicles is that they are so confusing uh, in terms of are they creatures or not, but uh, no, I do not believe so. Uh, a, a vehicle is not a creature until it is crewed. Yeah, Wander Out is reasonable. Things did get up to big, but uh, but yeah, I'm with you on that. Let's... Uh, Let's cut Wanderer. You could bring in the Scorn and kill small stuff instead. Uh, and just lean on Paradise Druid and two New Horizons for the splash. But I also like the idea of bringing in a Wrangler. Yep, 
Yeah, Wanderer's static does some uh, does some work. We didn't see much damage based removal from them. We can maybe expect that it's in there. I don't know if it's worth it just for the static though. Uh, running out of time here. Let's see. I think I'm gonna lower our wolf count by one just to be a little faster. Just to have a creature that's a little bit faster. Yeah, maybe Courage should have come out. I don't quite like how I sideboarded there, but I was running out of time. All right, I like our start. I could skelt the spellkeeper, but I think it's worth it to uh, band here. That populace, well, maybe. No, nah, I'll just weird. I'll weird it. Plenty of time to band together the populace. Could have just Tamioed, I suppose, but I want I want to get better D. I didn't want to just tap down to put out Tamio and then have it attacked by the populace. And there, now we probably need to band together the Screecher so that we... Uh, keep our Planeswalker protected. We can also Wrangle and then uh, band together on their turn. I'm gonna play the Wrangler here. And then keep band together up. I hear you, Train. I got convinced to take it out, but you may be right. We'll take a look at that uh, after this match. I don't see why we should wander strike when we get no benefit from the proliferate at this point and band together does the same trick for less and allows us to play the wrangler. All right, uh, now before the wanderer hits, uh, we've got to band together this screecher and then uh, we can strike and take out the wanderer next turn. Yeah, I don't like this courage. Maybe we got to take that out. We we just had enough proliferate that I thought or that it would be worth it, but not so impressive at this point. Uh, we don't get to take out the wanderer fully, it looks like, but I still think this is where we want to be. Uh, if we'd drawn a land, then we would, but we have to use the paradise druid for the strike. Wander not doing much right now, but it needs to go eventually. So that's why I'm doing that. Uh, here we can... Let's see, if we Courage, plus one, plus one, and Proliferate, we can put it here, and this becomes a 4-3 that either takes out the Wanderer or trades for the Griffin, but that's kind of just two for one ourselves. Tamio for... What? New Horizons. Well, then, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six. I kind of just like uh, band together. Yeah, we can weird and band and, and, and kill the Enforcer. 
So, but then we uh, lose this, but then we get to it. Yeah, it all works. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. It does. Oh, no, it doesn't. You're right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll uh, I won't use it. How about that? Uh, let's go. I'm going to do the Courage and Crisis then. It's a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a two for one against ourselves, but I really do want to come at the Wanderer. So now we, uh, eh, I don't think it's a punt yet, train. Like, we're gonna be fine with this band together, just not yet. I got everybody mad at me now or something. Oh well. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can get back a three. We can get back the courage. Uh, that doesn't do much. I guess we take Tamio, go up, and then force them to. Um... No, it's still not combat damage. Uh, so let's go, Tamio. Let's see, if we it go to six, they to can get her down to three, and then we can minus... Now let's go up and look for um, Horizon. You will find my notes New Horizons. You wanna go for Kefnet? Nah, we have Par Parhelion. I'm gonna go for uh, New Horizons. Looks like it didn't matter. Now they can come at Tamio, but then we want New Horizons so we can cast Parhelion. And it's just the thing we have uh, most, we have two of, so it's a good uh, likely hit. Well, that's super awkward. Oh, but they're doing that. Wanderer, wanderer, wanderer. Um, I think we got a trade here. I'm trying, getting some lag here. Pass to blockers, thank you. Tamio can go get us something at least uh, to take out the griffin. And we're closing in on Parhelion mana anyway. We don't have the second white right now, but we'll get there. Uh, let's go... Get the Wanderer's Strike back. The past is never forgotten. Strike Griffin and the Proliferate helps us now because Tamio gets to four, which is one more minus if we want it next turn. And there's another uh, strike even that we could go get. Oh, it went back. Anyway, we can just keep getting the same strike. Ugh, really hate that I got this band together. It's really, wasn't maybe a full on punt, but it's pretty bad since we haven't gotten rid of the Wanderer yet. And this could be some other card that would actually be helping us. Even Eternal is decent. Yeah, it's not a bad point. Blocks both. Um, Gotta get something. And I guess the strike is the other option and it's still not what we want. Yeah, we'll go with the Eternal. Yeah, Lynx had, uh, yeah, weird, weird is good. Well, we've got 
uh, hourglass. I might let this go to time here as we figure this out, because weird... Banding does not do anything. Remember, Wanderer stops us from making this a useful card. All right, we'll take a mass bird. I follow the tracks. Weird is solid. A mass bird is solid. Yeah, we're being taunted by my decision to bring this band into hand when it does literally nothing on this board. Might have to let Tamio go here in order to take out the Wanderer. Well, let's see what they've got. Ugh. Tamio dead. More data will be needed. Well, let's bring the Wanderer down to two, or, and then uh, oh. we play God Kempnit, Kempnit. and yes, Wanderer can exile it, but it comes back in a couple turns and it forces them to, uh, to deal with it. You are playing so well. Oppo, I was like, man, I hope we can turn the corner. I hope we can find a way to win this game. People. Witness the wrath of our pack. People scoop too early. I'll take it. I guess I guess we got it. I guess I'm a genius that uh Band together was the perfect card to get back with Tamio, apparently. Man. Not happy with how I played some of that, but Oppo gave it to me anyway. I'm willing to play a Wanderer main deck. In fact, we are. We're playing a Wanderer main deck. <clears throat> no, we were going to go talk about uh, whether or not to put in that, uh, play that scorn again. No, incorrect. Well, uh, yes, in response. Yeah, yeah. Once Wanderer's off the board, yes, that works. Hmm. Pesky. Pesky, pesky, pesky. Oh, I want to keep this, but <sighs> Mulligan. All right. Uh, with Tamio and all this mana source, we'll keep Arlen. Do you like the Arlen keep there? Not we're not sure about that one, but it felt good with uh, turn three Tamio incoming. Well, depending on what they do here. If they add to the board, we might switch how we do this. All right. Well, now we have Tamio on four, and we can actually get it behind a snare spinner. I'm going to go snare spinner for a paradise druid on... Snare spinner to block now. Paradise druid on three. Setting up uh, Tamio on four and Arlen on five, if we get one more land. Hmm. Interesting. Now what do we do? I think we go... 
Paradise Druid, let's think this through here. We play a land, we go Paradise Druid and pass. Paradise Druid survives, then next turn we untap with five mana available. We can a New Horizons on three of it to put a counter on the Druid, then we end up with three mana from there that we can Snare Spinner. Y'all want a Spinner here, huh? Why do you want a Spinner here? Then next turn we go uh, New Horizons into Paradise Druid. Well, it happens either way next turn. I'm going to go Paradise Druid and give us more mana next turn. Well, there is a difference, because if we had... Sp Spinnered. Well, yeah, I guess it happens. It, yeah, there is no difference. You're right. Basically the same. Oh, wait. Let's do this right. We're trying to do it this way. Uh-oh. Bye, Spinner. That's all right. We get... Uh, they're using a lot of resources here. And next turn, we get a natural Arlen with an untapped Paradise Druid to defend as well. So I think this will be fine. Oppo's stuck on three. They're doing pretty good work with the three they've got, but hopefully this is where we turn the corner. get back in the game. Drawing two, scrying a million. Not sure what we're doing next turn. Certainly, uh, might just want a Tamio. I mean, Tamio is so good. Although we don't have anything really we want to get. We'll see. Let's see what happens here. All right, we're gonna start here. This is your hunt now. Yeah, let's do this and look for Kefnet. We can do we can do both if we uh, if we don't find Kefnet. The moon looks intriguing tonight. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Ah. Let's send a, the wolf. Under my blade. We only have the one wolf on defense, but that could that could hurt us, I guess. If they like remove the wolf and and uh, have a big attack. Ooh, they got a full three. Yeah, so they get the wolf. Oh, right, great. Thank you, Wanderer. I know my own... I'm totally aware of my own uh, statics at all times, folks. Totally aware. That was all part of the plan. Shh. Now we get to actually use this. I'm, don't worry. I'll be quick. 
And what do we want? We can get something back and get a wanderer strike back. Let's get a strike back. Please protect my back. I have learned much from my ancestors. Uh, we'll get rid of the prophet. Proliferate 20. All right. Yeah, let's. I like the scorn in, but it's tough to know what to cut. Let me use courage. Obviously, we saw some great work from proliferate there, but courage has been a little bit not quite what I wanted when I've drawn it. I didn't really see anything else I wanted to change for. Let's try this. Definitely sushi or burrito, double D's, that's my opinion. Twist would be good here. I don't know. I don't... I, twist is... Twist is fine, but I don't think it's better than the stuff we've got. Uh, this planes is haunting us here, but we're gonna keep this. We have a conjuring I'm willing to do on three. And if we find blue, we get the nice skydiver going. You're early, Parhelion. We don't want you yet. Wrong kind of land. And... Do we conjure it on three? Might just wait for four, even. I don't know. Boo! I'm going to play it, though. I want to be able to offer a trade for this weird, even if they play one spell. Ah, oh, come on. No more forests, deck. We're done with forests. All right, I have a feeling we're gonna get roughed up pretty bad right here. Hmm. Well, they don't really have anything or they would attack with both because the weird would get to a 4-4. So this is a legit offer for a trade. Uh, I'm inclined to take it. I don't love this, but I'm inclined to take the offer. We'll do the one thing we can play and hope that our deck bails us out. If Oppo doesn't have any more things to make the weird bigger and we get Arlen next turn, we could stabilize. Ish. No blocks yet. Oof. Hoping, hoping against hope that they just couldn't add to the board here. Forests are laughing at us, uh, but we gotta try Arlen. Friend. I'm man's worst enemy. Go, my children. Fight!
Now, in terms of how much we defend Arlen, it depends on how Oppo wants to attack. <clears throat> so far, they haven't shown um, anything that has made them want to attack with the weird. So if, like, if they've drawn instants or something, they would have had to have come before now. And I think we put the... Uh, You just bring it all if you're going to do it, right? There you go. Uh, so now we got to go for like this and chumping here. You want to block the invader? Why are we blocking the invader? And why do you want to block crunch? You want to do this? Hmm. No. You vote for what? Penguins? I don't... I don't know. If we do... You want this? No, they have not shown a spell. Like, they needed to draw a spell. If they had had a spell, they would have attacked with the weird earlier. They needed to draw a spell in the first in the last couple of turns. I don't think they have a way to make the weird get big. All right, we'll try this. I really think they just drew that. They, I mean, there's the, they had, they could have done that before and they didn't. I like your ferocity. Uh, that screws us though. I mean, are we just dead dead? I don't want to be an early scooper like our oppos have been. What gets us out of this? I'll wait. I don't want to be an early scooper here. Well, an island doesn't really get out of it. What do we do? Let's say we draw an island. Then, then what's our plan? Yeah, Wanderer's Strike helps. Let's let's uh, hope that we're getting Wanderer's Strikes. Now they don't care about Arlen, too. That's funny. Uh, we'll take the eight. Wow. Folks, we have nine forests. Here's seven of them. But yeah, I guess we're not dead, dead, dead. We're, we're pretty dead, though. Like now, even if we get our island, what are we doing? Or if we get our... Yeah, we can't even... Now an island doesn't even get us there. I'm done. It doesn't really buy us a turn, though, because we have to chump. So uh, we pass there. We chump. And then we draw a Wanderer Strike, and uh, we get another wolf, I suppose. Yeah, maybe that gets us a wolf. I think we were pretty darn dead. But it's, it buys us another chump. It doesn't even give us a trade. No, we're not going to let that color our... Don't, don't let that... We drew seven of our nine forests. That was unusual that was not the way it really is ex we expect it to go i'm gonna let it ride All right, that's looking better. We can't play this yet, but we get Skydiver on two into Conjuring on three. I love it.
But again, like... Maybe you have me on a technicality of scooping before we were stone dead on board, but I could not see a path that led to us winning that game. We, with a strike, we were able to chump again the next turn. Now, maybe there was some, uh, like, maybe if we could stack our deck, there was some way we would come, come up with to stabilize, so. That's a good point, Norbert. One of their attackers needed a buddy. Gonna dive here and uh, let's see, this is five to be proliferating. We don't really have a turn four play, so we could wait to get one more point of power on four, but I think we just want the conjurant now. Let's do it. Math on here is a little fuzzy to me in terms of what's best for us long term, given proliferation and all that stuff. All right, well, we get to go after Sahili. Pretty hard here. You've never seen anything like Kind of surprised they're playing her into this board unless they just want to distract us right now. Maybe that's reasonable. Five. And now they either give up Sahili or they give up Profit. And I'll take either one. We live to fight another day. So Sahili was just a gain five life for three mana, and so that not it's not so great for Oppo. We'll play the wolf here. Yeah, they get to scry. I didn't credit that to Sahili because that's part of the profit, not the Sahili. Good to see them putting scrying to the bottom. Let's hope for another one here. Scry to the top. Okay, so they like their top. Oh, and you're, you're you think you're racing? All right, let's race. What we really want is another land so we can start proliferating, but uh, curious to see what they put on top. I guess we'll find out soon enough. I'm going to play out... I was going to play out the wolf, which can't be blocked by these currently anyway. I'm not sure if the Eternal is better, because wolf is not blockable by the creatures they have right now. So if they... Uh, if they play a Planeswalker or something, then uh, wolf is going to be better able to go after Planeswalkers than uh, Eternal. And a counter on the token. Yeah, maybe it's better because we might skydive activation next turn. All right. When you say you want the counter, what do you mean? You want, uh... Want that? Well, that's not great for us, obviously. But we're, we're, we're okay. It's alright. It's alright. Yeah, Wanderer out would have uh, laughed that off, huh? Well, they're getting real, getting a real big army, but we're gonna lost it as soon as we can find some mana, or just scorn it.
think we're blocking yet, so let's attack here. We have tools coming up. We can we can deal with this with uh, three of the four cards in our hand. So let's just see what they do. And I'm not so worried about our life total that I'm gonna like chump here or anything. We're just gonna take it. We all gotta keep aware of their weird though, and that they can get stuff back. Oy. Wow. All right. Well, now we're on Wanderer. Wow, they're just, uh, Oppo has it all. And we're struggling a bit. Choked on land, staring at a Parhelion. I really don't want to lose this. I think... Ah, this ought to be our game. But, start with the Wanderer. Skylord kills Kazmina, but then and then we are then what are we doing? Then we have a 3-3 three, three and a 3-2 blocking against all this stuff. Play let's start with Play Wanderer. Yeah, I like play wander, kill crunch, attack uh, Kazmina with wolf, and then chump. Let's cut you down to size. It's a little dangerous. Uh, if they draw removal, we're dead. But uh, in fact, maybe we just killed ourselves. That was, uh, yeah, I think we're dead on board. Darn it. Well, I guess they can't if, if they're if they're yeah, they callous dismissal and we lose. Oh well. Shouldn't should have saw should have seen that. Really disappointed in this loss. Oh, especially with that hand. Really, really hate that loss. Feel like we should have taken that match. And if you're going to punt me there, you have to tell me what we should have done. If, if you're going to punt me, if you're going to punt that, you got to tell me what the play was that keeps us alive. I mean, they had Kazmina out. We couldn't we couldn't do anything to any of their creatures. Yeah, exactly. This is why you don't ever uh, give yourself a par of four or five. It's just too hard to think that your deck is so awesome that you're just going to not lose. But frustrating. feel like uh, I say this a lot, but like that's a that's I think that's a match Ben Stark finds a way to win and I didn't. Parhelion again showing up in our opener, but gonna keep this. It's probably loose to play this. I mean, like, I don't know if we need this. It's just kind of fun. Might be better if we just cut this and, and, uh, well, Norbert's asking that. It, it is good. Like, this is the deck where it's actually good. I just don't know if we need it. Like, because we have Kefnet. We have other ways to win. Oh, hey, Count. GG. I was I was pretty mad with myself. I think the, my comment was that Ben Stark would have beat you. I, I should have found a way to beat you, but didn't. And I'm pretty dis disappointed in that. I feel like that was my match to win, and I let you have it. Uh, 
Um. Weird or wolf both work here. Let's go wolf. No, let's wait, because uh, if we... Well, I think we're going to play wolf before we manage to get Arlen out. So I don't think that's, like, uh, the best. Either of these can block. Like, the, the wolf and weird combine with druid to block both of these the same way. I guess weird is a little more threatening to the Dread Malkin, though, because they can even sack and we still kill the Dread Malkin. So yeah, we'll play weird because it, it blocks the uh, Dread Malkin better. Usually the stuff that a uh, deck this aggressive isn't splashing. Like, I'm surprised to see blue in a bled, uh, bled rack, a red black deck doing this kind of kind of work here. Well, oh yeah. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm not saying, uh, I'm, I'm not trying to take away anything from uh, from Count. So if that if it seemed like that, I was not trying to downplay Count's play. I'm saying, I feel like I could have played better and found a, found a way to win and didn't. That's all. Uh, so I can play the Diver and pump the Weird. I'm just going to play the Wolf here, though. Let's max the mana. Oh yeah, we're gonna get very slim on the uh, on the sideboarding after this. Why do I think the weird has any relation to science? I mean, didn't you see? He was right there in the lab. Oh, sure. Now the island shows up. Middle finger to the shuffler. Yeah, Tamio gets that back for us here. Uh... Kind of like going wolf... And maybe we go aggro? Can't block anything here. Seems strange to be attacking the red-black deck, but... Pressure is good. We still have blocks with the druid and the weird. And yeah, if Aprikin, of course the weird is science-y. Look at... He was wearing a lab coat and had beakers and stuff. How can you say the weird's, weird's not science-y? That's, yeah, see, like, contentious plan as a splash in this seems a little weird to me, but all right. Uh, if we were to block with everything here, what happens? They take out uh, Druid and Skydiver, and we don't want to do that yet. We're close to being able to uh, proliferate ourselves. So let's uh, take this and see what we draw. All right. Skydiver is probably not blocking. Uh, now I want to stay back, though. Or we could offer a trade here. I don't know what that gets us, though. Uh, we can... Now let's wait. We might be able to get the wolf big enough to... Uh, to hold the ground. Well, there goes our god forever. Dream big Another contentious... Are you serious? What is this deck? Oppo, what are you even doing? Now I'll be mad if I... I really don't want to lose to this. What is going on here?
Let's see what it looks like to proliferate. Um, nah. I guess Diver at Ashiok and then play Arlen, make a wolf, and get back to proliferating later. You strike out of fear. Leave my territory. If we can find a New Horizons, we're on the Parhelion plan. We just got to get there before we're dead to Dreadmalkins or Ashioks. Yeah, they're going after Arlen now, and uh, I think we have to double block. Let's see, they can get this to a... how big? If they take out both of these, this can get up to a 9-9 if they want. Uh, I would love to put something on it that... Oh, they have one black. Good, thank you for that. So they can go to 7-7. Seven, seven. So let's put 7... Let's put 8-8 eight, eight worth on it. Let's put the two wolves on it. Right? If we do this, uh, they only get one of these. Right? We don't know what they have here. But I think I like this. They'll get both. Three. Oh, yeah, because my math is terrible. I got one. So then maybe we... Uh, but we still have to do it, I think. I still think we have to do it. And yeah, triple block makes sense. Good call. Two for two is fine. Like, uh, I want to keep Arlen alive here. Oh, okay. He's like, why did they do that? That's why. Are we, we're facing that in back-to-back -back games, huh? I'm tilted now. Jesus. Let the nature go. Yeah, whatever. All right, control my tilt and find the right sideboarding. Plating. What were they actually targeting our stuff with, though? Did they really even come at our stuff? They just kind of... Yeah, I don't think I like plating. Could take time twist as a, something that could do some work. Stinger for death touch is interesting. Over what? Maybe a wolf? I don't know what I'm time twisting that we're all, that we're really happy about, though. I'm gonna run with this. Come on, Shuffle Gods, help us out. Let's get a couple back-to-back -back wins here. All right. Of course, now we want the Parhelion, but no, we'll keep this.
Oppo Mulligan, that's not bad for us. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make a turn two Conjurant because New Horizons makes it a three drop any, it makes it a three, three on three. Yeah, Conjuring on two def. And maybe we block. Let's see what they want to do here. I don't want to lose it, though. I'm going to just take this. There were just an, enough plays that, that we could lose our Conjuring that I didn't want to do it. And we're racing fine here. Oof. F toll. No tolls allowed unless I'm playing it. I'm also getting tired, so I'm gonna sit. took our Skylord, the Jerks. Um, can't do two spells this turn, really. So... Go horizons onto the island. And yeah, we'll still attack. They know what we've got, whatever. Standing this mat, it changes everything. The difference is insane. Behold, I lost my appetite. Yeah, I really want to beat this deck. <laughs> it's doing a lot of weird stuff, and let's see. Let's go. Let's get two blue from here, two black from here. And then uh, we'll scorn. Return this creature to its hand. And triumph. Could have weirded or stung there as well, I suppose. Ashiok is really rough on our Tamiyo draw. This. I must return to my oh, the god is already milled. We lost the god quite a while, and there's the Tamiyo. The less useful Tamiyo. Kefnet was already gone, folks. Oh, no, no, there's a different one. I was thinking of the previous game. Yeah, maybe that was just Kefnetted. So be it. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so we can Tamiyo and Spellkeeper. Or, uh... I'm sure, we can check. There's, there's the guy. 
Uh, we already have those. Let's see, we have uh, two Wanderer's Strike. So let's go this, let's go Tamiyo and look for Wanderer's Strike. And then uh, play the Stinger. Like the phases of the moon. Like mm, I'm not even gonna attack here. Let me aid your research. Now with the Stinger, maybe we can attack. I'm just nervous. But yeah, sure, fine. We can attack. I don't think attacking first or second... Like, I don't think that information changed their blocking decisions or anything. Nine cards. Okay. So we're going to totally lost uh, Reaper. Now I got to figure out what's left in our deck even and like what we actually want. Uh, my my thing is lying to me. I don't know what's left in our deck. Um, do we have a plan? We have a plan, right? Uh, we could also just get that back. I don't think we can Tamio because it uh, mills us too quickly. So instead, we're going to attack Ashiok My and just get back, um, like smoke. get back totally lost. No tail should be discarded. All right. Okay, let's uh, let's see. We had some other thoughts, right? Um, there was time twist thought. I think I'm happy with where we're at, though. I mean, we could put in a Naga Eternal, but then at that point we just put a Wolf back. This is not going to be played ever. I don't think we removed Tamio. You could see there that she was good even in the face of a couple of Ashioks. But maybe. <sighs> She does push us, uh... Now, I don't want to overreact to the Ashiok, but we could go Tamio Wolf and just uh, try to be a little bit more on the aggro. Is the Wanderer worth it? I guess they have, uh... It, it stops that uh, sweeper they have. No, I'm not going to add cards. Stop it. Ranked is better value. Uh, at my win rate, it's all pretty. It's very similar. I think actually there's good value for us. It's probably better value for me in best of three, actually. All right, I'm going to do this. The uh, bold decision to take out Tamio, only because. We cannot help their Ashiox, and we want to be able to plus Tamio, or we shouldn't play her, I guess. Now let's have them have some mana issues. How about, Oppo, you suffer for your mana base? How about that happens once here? He says, about to suffer for his mana base. With Crunch and Band, I'm going to keep. For sure, you can just uh, have a one drop. No, we're gonna go one two with like the best deck I've drafted in a while. Please, magic gods, have a little bit of sympathy for this situation. Come on. Come on.
great. Do it. Love it. Gonna scorn you as soon as we can here. Come on, deck. Help us out. Ugh. Right on, Count. Glad we, glad we got to battle. GG's. Yeah, planes. Vapor can call on the planes to just agonize us. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if we're banding the uh, remaining Malkin here. I think we are. Oppo with the three color weenie aggro, and yet somehow, somehow. All right, can we do something? How about an island off the top, and we can scorn away this stupid Malkin? Do it. Do it, Malkin. Do it. Be greedy. You're aggro. You want to. You know it. Yeah, do it. Do it. Yeah. All right. Now we just need an island, and I feel like we have a solid shot. One time island. Island! So now I guess we have to Sky Lord and try and buy a turn here. I think that's what we gotta do. Oppo's deck is a is some three color nonsense. I mean, it's got some good cards in it, but it's like three color nonsense. I don't want to lose to three color nonsense. Molly Moo, your deck is some nonsense. I'm gonna try and punish you, but we can't because we can't. So at least they've stopped attacking. I think we need to triumph here. And Wolf for Eternal. Let's let's get a big. Uh... We can even take out Kazmina now if we want. It's a little bit risky. I'm gonna do it though. Can we do it? What do you think of that? Are we doing that? We got three blockers. If they take out one, we can still double block the Dread Malkin and not die. All right, we have to try. I like the I like the sentiment that we have to try. It's gonna hurt us, but we had to try that. If we can survive this turn, we get to scorn that Malkin.
Don't do it. Don't attack yet. Don't. No, don't. Don't. Just give us one more turn. Don't even make me have to chump. Don't. Please don't. Don't. All right. We're chumping all over the place, but... Let's see. So how do we want to do this with three, four, five, six, seven? We just got to uh, take two and go three, dupe, dupe. Oh yeah, we can take three and just eat the thing, right? Yeah, let's do that. Good, good call. Yeah, eat the two, two. I don't think we're yeah widespread is is tough but i don't know if what we can do to beat that let's go uh scorn can't really beat the brutality can we the army stays around, though, so we keep the army back in case they brutality and we need it to live. Um, and then uh, we get Arlen's wolf and uh, tyrant score in this turn. I'm going to deploy, you know, if they have the army, this dies to it, but we also need to fill up our board to actually try to win this before they actually get the army if they don't have it already. So I am going to play this. And we're going to attack with the Skylord. And we're going to do this now and not give him a chance. Well, we have quite a clock. Ah, uh, and we actually had outs. This is for you, Vaporkin. Is this you, Vaporkin? Is Molimo, is Molimu actually Vaporkin? I quit magic, folks. Bye. The super frustrating part about that is how many outs we still had. How many outs we still had. Two wanderers strikes. <sighs> yeah, there was a lot we could have won with. That was miserable. And, uh... And I and I hate that loss. That was awful. <sighs> no gems for this deck. No gems, folks. Wow. I'm so bummed right now. So bummed. Nice try, Fiddles. I'm going to sit here and be salty and you can't do anything about it.
that's one of the better drafts decks I've drafted in uh, a couple weeks, probably. All right, I'm going to desalt through some lunch. <clears throat> and I'm going to come back and we'll finish a set review of uh, of M20.